Hey guys, don't know how well you'll be able to hear me in the kitchen because first of all I have something that's starting to boil <laughs> which I need to be stirring right now and second of all I have my fridge over there and my upstairs neighbor is stomping. So yeah, let me stir this and then I'll tell you what I'm doing. All right, now that I've taken care of everything behind me, um, so what I'm doing right now is I am making some candied oranges because I couldn't find any candied oranges and I kind of want them for a recipe. The ones that I did see online were like 20 something dollars. Why would I pay 20 something dollars when I can just do it myself? So I'm making candied oranges for a cake because tomorrow is my birthday. <laughs> I'm getting started a little bit early. Um, yeah, tomorrow's my birthday. And sometimes for my birthday, I just like to do make some kind of fun cake. Um, I did a Minecraft cake a few years ago, and I really enjoyed that, even though it turned out to be a mess. Uh, but yeah, that's on somewhere on this channel. But for my birthday this year, since I am like obsessed with Our Flag Means Death right now, I'm going to make the 40 orange cake. No, there are not 40 oranges in it. I do have a, like, a bag of 13 oranges. I just used two to make my candied oranges. Um, hopefully it doesn't take more than 11. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Roach is the cook on the ship who um, made the 40 orange cake in the show. The guy who plays Roach, is, he also likes to bake. So he made his own recipe for it, um, for the <laughs> cake that his character made. And that's what I'm going for. I'm trying to replicate it as well as I can. I may change a few little things, but yeah. The thing is, <laughs> I don't really even like oranges that much. So yeah, I just really like this show. So <laughs> that's the main reason I'm doing it. Also because uh, if you didn't know, I have a podcast called We're Having Fun that I do with Mark, my boyfriend. We talk about a show or a movie or whatever, and then we do a snack and we try to we try to theme the snacks to whatever we're talking about. It doesn't always work, but um, for my birthday, I said, I want to cover Our Flag Means Death, and I want to make this cake, and I want that to be our snack, so that's what we're doing. So yeah, that's what's going on. Um, I'm doing my candied oranges tonight. I'm gonna also peel an orange and get some orange sections uh, because they go into the middle of the cake, and possibly somewhere else I don't really know but I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do like two oranges that way and uh, put those in the fridge for later tomorrow when I get home from work I get to actually bake the cake and make the frosting and make the filling and all of that fun stuff I even bought piping bags uh, which is surprising that I didn't have them before but uh, now I have piping bags so cool or piping bags and tips and stuff because uh, I don't know why I didn't have them before. My tripod is like sliding down slowly so if you notice that sorry I keep kind of <laughs> going down a little bit with it. You would think having Baker in my screen name for pretty much everything I would have stuff like that but I don't <laughs> uh, but I do now so I can do some piping and stuff. Now I think that this cake would be really good as cupcakes honestly and I might try that again at some point. Uh, yeah so I don't really know what else to say right now. This was just my intro and it's dragging on. We will make the cake tomorrow and I will assemble it and I will show it to you guys. And that's it. So happy birthday to me. I swear, I just turned on an episode of the show because I was like, well, I'll watch something. Um, it's the episode with the cake. <laughs> you wasted 40 oranges on a cake? Oh my God. Perfect timing. Well, this is going well already. Um, it is currently 7.30. <laughs> I was gonna get started on this at, I don't know, roughly uh, five. And yeah, it's two and a half hours after I meant to get started on it. So I have even less time to do it. So I might not have a cake tonight. It might be a birthday cake the day after my birthday, but you know what? It's fine. I had to go pick up my dog because my ex had him for the week and uh, I did that and I hung out with him and his girlfriend for a little while. And then next thing I know, I was like, oh crap, um, it's seven o'clock, I gotta go. So uh, yeah, but I've got my oven on. I'm about to start zesting some oranges so that I can get this cake started. I thought that I had lost one of my cake pans, but I found it. <laughs> it was hidden under my oven. I don't know how it got there. So yes, I have my two cake pans. I'm ready to go. And I've got to 
start buttering them, get some parchment paper ready. I've got my eggs out. They have been getting to room temperature and uh, there's so much stuff to do. My boyfriend is going to get us dinner and then he's coming here. So uh, he may be in the background <laughs> during some of this. He may get to see me being weird talking to myself, but you know what? It's fine. He's used to it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I may not update again until I have this cake ready to go. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. This is a very complicated recipe, okay? I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. Also, I've had a lot of iced coffee today, so um, <laughs> if I start getting kind of jittery, you're going to know why. So is there a phobia of cheese graters? Because if there is, I think I have it. <laughs> I don't like grating things and now I'm about to have to zest some uh, some oranges. So <laughs> not looking forward to this. This is like the thing that I'm least looking forward to in the whole thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it over with so I don't have to worry about it anymore and I'll have some orange zest. So it is currently day three of trying to get this cake made. <laughs> I feel like I'm never gonna make it. I'm never gonna finish it. Um, so baked the cake last night. I also made the buttercream frosting. I made um, the whipped cream kind of filling. So I've got all of that ready to go. I'm almost done. I'm working on the syrup right now. And then all I have to do after that is the glaze. So I'm, I'm really close. And then assemble everything, of course. Um, the cake did not turn out the way I expected, but Honestly, I, I know it's because I've never made a sponge cake before. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm gonna eat it anyway. At this point, I don't care and I don't have, I don't want to have to start over. Um, so I'll just have to perfect my sponge cake at some other point. And uh, yeah, but the buttercream tastes really good. And the whipped cream filling also tastes really good. So we're, which I've made whipped cream before. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so that's going well. Um, the syrup right now. I'm waiting for it to finish and um, I didn't have cognac so um, I used just regular brandy which is what cognac is. It's just from a certain region but whatever. So basically the same thing. So uh, yeah then I have to let that cool. My cake is ready to be made except for those few little tiny things <laughs> that are left. The best part about this is the recipe. So I'm just like, oh, it'll take like three hours. I'm like, yeah, if you know what you're doing and if you have all of the correct tools, which I don't. <laughs> yeah. Also, there may be a few little chunks missing from my cake, <laughs> but we're not going to talk about that. I'm trying to do some freshly squeezed orange juice <laughs> for the glaze. Uh, and it's like, yeah, about two to two and a half cups. So that's gonna be like four or five oranges. I'm on orange number four. I have maybe half a cup. I don't know where these juicy oranges are that <laughs> that the recipe's calling for, but it ain't these. It ain't these. Okay, I finally finished it today. <laughs> so um, yeah, my kitchen is a mess, but um, I guess I can show you the finished product. So <laughs> this, is the finished product. There are my candied oranges there. You can see some of the glazes dripping down and uh, one little tiny sprig of mint in the middle. There's a lot of orange. It's very orangey, but uh, I think it turned out pretty well. Let's see if I can show a little, show it at an angle without actually having it fall. So that's it. It is done. It is ready to be cut and eaten. And yeah, so actually I can show you probably a better picture right here. And that's it. That is my birthday cake. Uh, that is my 40 orange glaze cake. Until the next time that I get the urge to make my own birthday cake, I guess I will see you later.